Konsa is special to Kenya and uh, Africa at large. Konsa is our first smart city in Kenya. It's actually the first city that is planned from Greenfield and historically all our other towns have grown because of other aspects, maybe administrative or because of infrastructure. Tetratech troll in our project is to guide us in the development of the city. They are the master development partner. It's a once in a lifetime project for the team. We're taking 5,000 acres of African plain and applying everything related to developing a city. Master planning, design guidelines, establishing the smart city hub for Kenya. It's a ICT connected city. Everything in the city can be connected from the street lights to the traffic lights to the irrigation valves. We'll be able to be watched, controlled, and optimized through the system. If you're going to be a resident of the city or if you're going to be a commercial member of the city, when you go to move into your office, you'll bring your laptop and your telephone and you will have access to everything else that you might need through that connection. A unique approach to providing the power of the internet. Kenya has set itself on the pathway to technology leadership in the region over time. And its intent is to build a new city and in so doing create a population over time of about 250,000 people that would be technology driven. On the technology side, we are looking at Kanza being a host for various data centers, which would ultimately be used not only by the private sector, but also by government authorities to better process the various social services. For instance, our wastewater and water system infrastructure are also going to be optimized to the data that is collected from them, making sure that repairs are done on time, no wastage is incurred because of delayed responses. We also are looking at it as a sustainable project, and that is a very important aspect of a smart city. We are looking at reusing a lot of our wastewater so that it would be used for non-portable facilities such as toilet flushing as well as irrigation. We're going to have public transportation so that you can either walk to work or you can very easily get on public transportation to take your kids to school, to take yourself to work. One of the aspects of the ICT function is to allow people from their smartphones to be able to isolate a parking spot and know quickly that there's a parking spot available in this block, in this location, via GPS or via a parking structure. A lot of the data that's being collected from Kanza, from the traffic, from the water and wastewater, from operation standpoint, from an irrigation standpoint, are all going to be a huge data sink. We feel there's an opportunity to not only own that data, but also to use that data for a number of reasons. The special thing about Kanza is that we are creating an ecosystem of innovation. Consa would actually be the seed that would transform the country.